This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Libra. From April 8th to 22nd, 2022, I already pulled and meditated on your first spread, and we got the Three of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Seven of Wands. Now, before we get to this, I just wanna talk about this Moldavite ring that I got. I got it about two, well, three days ago now, and I've slept with it twice. And I don't want to say too much about it because some of it could be a placebo effect. But the first night I had this, this ability to dream in vivid detail, but also rewind the dreams. So if I didn't like the way that a dream was going, I'd be able to rewind and fix it into the way that I liked. And then last night, like, it's just this cognition that I'm able to bring into these dreams where it could be placebo. So, so I don't want to get into it too much, but the history, the legend behind Moldavite, it came from a very violent meteor impact. It, it hit Czechoslovakia. So when you look at Czechoslovakia's borders, the borders are around this meteor impact that took place. The only place you can find this rock is in Czechoslovakia. So this impact was so intense, so fierce, that it was like all of our nuclear weapons going off at once in this area that, that encompasses Czechoslovakia. And the way it resonated through the earth, it went to its core and it's like it, it reversed the, the magnetism in the iron within the core. It, 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 it shifted the world's polarity because 15 million years ago is also when our north and south switched places. So in a way it transformed earth and perhaps that's why they, they attribute all these transformation properties to the, this, this rock. And another fact, I took some pictures of this ring so I could write a nice comment on the, on the maker's website. And when I was looking at the pictures this morning, I saw two faces coming out of, of the Moldavite. So I'll include the pictures so you can have a look at that. But yeah, if, there's, if you want to know more about it, that there's some more information in the description below. Now, back to your reading. <laughs> What's interesting about this is that there's somebody coming into your energy. This is somebody who it's like they didn't want anything to do with you. This is someone that that was pushing back on this connection. But it, it, it's I don't feel that you've ever been in a connection with this person. But this is someone that, that didn't want anything to do with you. Whoever this is, they're coming in to it's like they're coming in to seek wisdom from you this is not somebody who wanted to do that and i see you giving wisdom like the three of pentacles there's this energy of, of you having this willingness to to teach them but f with them being the hermit this is someone who outranks you in a sense like they, they shouldn't be coming to you asking for enlightenment, they should be the ones that, that are pulling you or, or that, that, you know, or, or that you're going to, towards them. But it's not the case. It, it's somehow there, there's something that you know, perhaps that you don't even attach much value to, something very natural to you. It's, it's a skill that you may have developed in the past life. You know, it, it's something here that, that, to you, it doesn't have the value that it has to somebody who who understands what the value is. That they're coming in, even though they may not want to. They, they, this is it's hard for somebody to, especially someone who has a higher kind of who people go to asking for wisdom, coming to you. Right? Let's clarify that this this hermit energy, this person that's coming to you. For you, 
understanding for them. Tenacity, something very difficult for them. So it, it, it's this energy where it, it's like they're the, the wisdom keeper, but it's so hard for them to, to find such wisdom or to come across such wisdom. And they're, they're looking to you for enlightenment, for understanding. They want to know how you know something that took them so hard, so, so long to develop. Feel that, that, you know, like our biggest strengths come from things that we undervalue, right? L like things that we don't attach any value to because somehow we've perfected something perhaps in a past life. And now it's just, it's so natural that we don't see as, as uh, you don't feel that you have to work so hard to attain something, but it's like you already possess this this gift that you, it's like Jason Bourne, right? Where, you know, like he can't remember how he l developed all these skills, but somehow they come out when, you know, as a reflex. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. And this person is noticing something about you that, that they want to know how you know it. Let's clarify the, this three of pentacles here for you. Like I see you teaching, but like, how do you teach something that you, it's just so natural to you? Page of pentacles, the nine of wands and the fool energy. Yeah, you, you want to, it's not that you know how to teach this, you want to, to teach this. You want to know how you know this, the, 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 this will be difficult for you because there's boundaries. Like you can't access this knowledge somehow. It, it's like you're, you're trying to, like you're, you're, you're a fool to your own greatest strength and somebody sees it here, right? It, it's, it's this energy where you want to explain how you, you do something, but it, like, how did Jason Bourne know? He didn't know. That was his biggest problem is, is he didn't understand how he knew those things. So, so how could he teach them, right? It's like your willingness to teach this person. You want to, you want to teach them, but it's almost like you're, you don't even know how. Let's clarify this fool energy. For you, progress. For them, maturity. Yeah, the, you're dealing with so, somebody that, that I'm getting a sense like, how do you teach, like, how do you teach a teacher? You know, like, like you, you want to teach them, but it's kind of like, like you don't even know how to teach them. Like, how do you teach somebody something that's natural to you? There's going to be an issue here where they know more on the topic than you do, but somehow you're better at it than they are. And you don't know how you can explain that. You're some sort of, there, there's something here that, that is, it's kind of like this person is going to be triggering you to look at something in yourself that, that you, you didn't put much value in before. And now you're going to be seeing that you have value in that, in, in that skill, whatever it is, because you, you really do want to, to help, but it, it, you, you don't know how to teach it. The fool energy. <laughs> there's, there's boundaries here and I feel the boundaries are from your past life. Like you can't access everything from your past life. You're not meant to. You're meant to create something new in this life. That's why we forget our past. So we have that ability to, to keep creating right spirits need that they, they spirits are attracted to beauty and to like for something to be beautiful it has to be original it can't be the same old thing recycled so you do have some sort of gift you you may just be realizing that you have this gift it's something that that's going to be very hard for you to teach there's going to be an issue here let's clarify before we get to the hermit, I want to clarify the, the seven of wands. Why was this person reluctant to, to even 
like it's kind of like they were pushing you away like they're, they're not interested until all of a sudden they are okay so why was this seven of wands in this person's energy four of pentacles self-control six of pentacles and the five of pentacles it, it, it's like they had this self-control they don't you're really changing this person's mind because it, it's like whatever whatever that they're willing to give to isn't giving them the answers here right so it's kind of like they have self-control towards you because they know that you don't perhaps they they know that you don't have the status that that they're looking for right but what they are looking for they can't find the answers like, like the direction that they are sharing with like like the, perhaps their other colleagues other people that, that they see you know the, the scales with the people that that are intellectual that have mastered some sort of education they can't find the answers that 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 they're looking for Let's clarify this Five of Swords. Ooh, that card's stuck in my hand, but we'll see if it comes out. Whoa, something came out. Rebirth, Wisdom also, but Rebirth, and this card, Hospitality. Yeah, it's it's kind of like, like I'm getting the sense that whoever the this person's colleagues are, or whoever they, they view as knowing the answers, you, you may be a prodigy in something here. It's kind of like this energy where they're, they're, they keep on having this rebirth, trying to find the answer to something. It's, it's whatever question it is, they've struggled with it. They've struggled with it. And, you know, the people that, that they're dealing with are, are very open. They're willing to, to help this person find the answer. It's something that they keep going back to. But the, the answer is never found. Like the communication is just lost. It, it's not from a willingness to, to collaborate. It's just they can't seem to get the right answer. Let's clarify this hermit here. Why, why is this person deciding to come to you now? Huh. The moon. Secrets. The star, ambition, wish. Ooh. This card did not want to leave my finger. Communication. They are definitely coming in towards you, and it's going to be... It, it, it's, it's like when they're coming in, they think that you're going to have the answer for them right away. That, that, you know, this person is in this energy where... They, they come already knowing, thinking that you have the answer. You must have the answer, right? They're not going to believe that you don't have the answer. When you don't have the answer for them, it, it, it's kind of like they can't believe that because it, it, it's, they think that you're holding out on them. It's going to create a situation here. They're coming in. There's going to be communication. They're they, they, they already assume that you're you're going to give them everything that they want because they have status. It's kind of like, like that they're, they're coming in. They may be offering you some sort of wish fulfillment in exchange for their wish fulfillment. They want to know the answer. You're not capable of supplying it because it's a secret to you too. Let's clarify this moon energy. For you, vanity for them. Exchange. Yeah, they, they think that if they offer you something of a wish fulfillment for you, it, it, it will be, you know, you'll, you'll give them the answer that they're looking for. Vanity. It's something so superficial to you that, that you don't even see a depth into it. And because you don't see the depth that took for you to get to reaching this level of excellence, whatever it is. It's it's superficial. You can only give them superficial answers. They're thinking that you're going to keep something from, that that they, you're intentionally keeping the truth from them. Hmm. This is going to be a situation because it. 
I feel, I feel like that they're, they're already giving you, offering you some sort of wish fulfillment in exchange. Like, this is somebody that, that, you know, they hold a star in, in their hand. Like, like they, they want to lure you to give them what, but it's kind of like you can't. In the extended, we'll look into, uh, we'll look into this outside element. We'll go to the questions for the random, lo the random generated questions for the outside element. We'll ask, what's the most likely outcome for this connection at this time? We know there's going to be a bit of a, a thing. Uh, what do you need to watch out for at this time? Within the year, how will this person end up feeling about you? And we'll ask, how can you bring healing to this connection? Interesting questions that came up. We'll look into that. All right, the link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.